Hello, my name is Jeffrey, and I'm one of the senior software tech specialists for Profiler. In this video, I'll talk about how to create an options package and where the options are saved, different options that are available for you to use, and how the options package can be shared within your network. So let's get started. The Options Administration in the Options Package lets the profile user centrally configure certain profile options. It would be the settings in the Options menu, such as the environment, the module, the templates, form selection, the pricing, the Options Password, the Options Administration, uh, the language. Anything under the Options menu will be saved into a POF file. Uh, and that will be your settings and any preferences that you have uh, and how you use profile will be saved under this file. The options administration and the options package also lets you create different sets of options for different purposes such as if you have different users you can set different options or preferences or settings for that specific let's go ahead and create a new options administration or options package. First you want to think about the settings or preferences that you want to create or you want to save. Uh, I'm going to give you an example here. I'm going to use uh, under options module this setting here for carry forward prepare initials. I'm going to set that and now I'm going to be able to save that. So if I press OK and now you want to save it into an options uh, package or an administration. Go under options, options administration. You want to save the settings that you just uh, created under apply all options from the profile option file of this computer. I'm going to create a new one. And let's call it. options today. Okay, So that's going to create any settings or save any settings that you've created within your options menu. Could be under the environment, could be under database, it could be uh, under your prepare information, it could be your module settings, anything you have under the options menu will be saved in that options package. Okay. Now, I'll talk about the other options here in another clip, but I just wanted to mention on how to create uh, an options administration or options package. So let's talk about loading the options administration or the options package. Now, Profile can load the options package automatically. There is a setting that you can set so that as soon as you open up profile it'll load your settings and I'll show you how to do that. Okay. Under options, options administration, this second setting will load automatically the setting uh, or options package that you had highlighted below. So for example I had highlighted options today too before I closed uh, profile and now every time I open up profile it's going to load this second option. Okay, As you remember from the previous clip we talked about uh, creating the options today uh, under the options today too I had taken out some options under the options module uh, these ones here and now if I load that first one which we created from the other clip, it's going to load the uh, first four options under that options module. And you'll see uh, what I mean by that. So that has loaded the options package. If I press OK, now if I go under options module, you'll see those options show up because I've set them in that first option. Okay. So again, let me recap that. Options, Options Administration. If you have this second setting, uh, it will 
take or load the options package that you have highlighted below. In my example, I had options today too. Uh, then if you have multiple options packages, you can load any of the options packages that according to your choice by choosing the options package and just clicking on load. Okay. So if you prefer the options package to not load automatically, there's a third option which gives you the options prompt, uh, this window here. So if, say you have multiple options that you want to choose from and you prefer to choose it first before it, it loads, then set the third option, which I'll show you. Okay. So in this case, I've chosen the options today three. I'm going to press OK. And then if I check my options module, under my 2014, I had uh, added these two here, uh, which is different on the other options. Okay, so it depends on which option you like to set. And I will show you where that is. So the option three will give you the option to choose. Uh, so it's going to give you a window prompt or an options prompt in the beginning when you open up profile and it'll get you to or let you choose which options package you'd like to load. Okay. Now if you're in a network environment and you have multiple options packages in different systems, what you can do is you can use the uh, fourth setting which is activated by indicating allow multiple option package groups and that will give you the option to choose number four. And this will basically go through your network and search through any options package that is found. And then it will load that first options package that it does find. Before I close, I want to talk about a couple of things here under the options administration. And that is this option here to include prepare and discount our name with option packages. So when you save your options package, if you have this indicated, it will include your preparer and discounter name. Uh, this prompt to save changes is a great security setting uh, when you have allow multiple option package groups. That enables you to uh, save the changes. It will prompt you before uh, you want to save the changes into your options package. It's, it's great to have uh, when you have multiple options packages and you want to make sure that you do want to save those settings onto the appropriate options package. Okay, And this uh, file path here is meant for, um, it's basically if you want to share your options package in a network, you can point all your systems or computers to this file path and they will be able to share the options package or packages that you create. So I just want to take the time to thank you for spending the time with me today. And uh, if you get an opportunity, check out our website at profile.intuit.ca. You can go under the uh, self-help support, profile guides and services. We have some great software tips and some profile training, uh, just like this how-to video and more information if you need. Again, my name is Jeffrey and thank you for spending your time with me today. And here at Profile, we love to take every opportunity to make every customer interaction an opportunity to show that we care.